The word faith is an interesting word used in so many ways, sometimes used as a substitute for the word religion, as if a faith and a religion are the same thing. I suppose they might be, but so often they're not. What is faith truly? There's a faith that transcends any religion, any spiritual practice, any belief. What is that faith? It is faith in life itself. Faith in life itself and the goodness and the value of life. A faith in what imbues life with its value and its meaning. And what is it that imbues life with meaning and value? What is it without which life is like dust in the wind? Is it not love? This ineffable quality, hard to pin down. We know it when we see it. We know it when we feel it. We can describe it as it's embodied, but it is this ineffable quality that defies definition. That's larger than any definition. And yet it is that quality that brings meaning and purpose that brings order, the order of the truth of what life is all about, found in this thing that we call love. When we are open to love, it is that which instills faith. And without letting love in, a person begins to lose faith in life. They begin to think that life isn't worthwhile, that it can't come to anything, that no matter what you do, there's nothing of meaning and value that will grow out of it. That is a loss of faith. A loss of faith is also a lessening of expectation. It can be a gritting of one's teeth and just trying to get through without any hope or expectation of something good coming out of it, just getting by. It can be a substitute of lesser values than love. No, I won't have love in my life. I'll just get rich. I'll just be successful. No love, I'll be successful. That's a loss of faith, of true faith. Creation is an act of faith. Creation is an act of faith, is it not? It could be something large or small in someone's life. It could be picking up the telephone and calling somebody. That could be an act of faith. It's faith that your call, your voice, your care, means something to that person, could make a difference in their life. It could grow something, something beautiful could come out of it. You don't really know, but you have faith. And so it could be a creative act, simply to make a phone call. To write a letter could be an act of faith. To write a poem, it's a wild leap into the unknown, is it not? You don't know what that poem is going to be. You don't know what's going to happen on that phone call. It could be anything, but there's a faith that something good will come out of it. And that faith is born of love. 
and the knowing that good things are born out of love. Life is born out of love. 